So exactly how soon are we going to see flying cars? The answer is this year. Hot off the press, hat tip to future ride. I, and I'm going to pronounce the Chinese names in this wrong. My apologies. Xiping, it's Xping is spelled, Aero HT takes flight with EVTOL and modular car. At CES 2024, Jiping Aero HT, the self-proclaimed largest flying company in Asia, made two announcements that it said will bring the world closer to electric air mobility for consumers. The affiliate of new EV mobility OEM, Jiping Motors, and by the way, that parent company, Jiping Motors, OEM stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer. They are going to trash Tesla along with BDD. Everyone is talking about that. That's for another video. Sorry, the affiliate of Jiping Motor showed off its sports car-like EVTOL flying car and its SUV-like land aircraft carrier modular flying car, said Dr. Brian Hongji Gu, vice chairman and president of Jiping Motors. The future of mobility goes beyond cars, way beyond cars. Let's find out. In 2013, we started Aero HT, dreaming of flying cars, added Tan Wang, co-founder of Xping, Jiping, Aero HT. Fast forward to 2024, and that dream has become a reality. It's a reality. So here's the breakdown. At CES, attendees saw the international debut and were presented with its latest EVTOL flying car transitioning from land to flight mode, marking the first time the company had given such a demonstration outside of China. The latest EVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing is what that stands for. Flying car design was first revealed during Jiping Tech Day in 2023 in October. It builds upon the previous version with two years of innovation and further refinement. So in just two years, this thing has come much further to fruition. In land mode, the vehicle folds its flying components, storing them within the vehicle to maintain an on-road appearance. Switching to flight mode, the EVTOL opens its arms, facilitating vertical takeoff and landing. This addresses the demand for short distance, low altitude travel, which means in the near future now, we're going to see vehicles flying at low altitude. Noise is the question. The company said it accomplished a test flight of a prototype weighing about two tons in 2022. So that was a year and a half ago, already test flown. The company will proceed to mass production once related policy, regulation, and application scenarios are ready. We'll talk about that after the story to wrap this up and other things. For the SUV-like vehicle, the company announced its land aircraft carrier modular flying car will be available for pre-orders this year, 2024, with customer deliveries starting late next year, 2025. Beyond personal use, the company said its new modular flying car holds potential for public services like emergency rescue. The land aircraft carrier, that's the SUV, has completed all key tests of the R&D validation phase and has now entered the preparation stage for mass production. The ground module, which is about the size of a small SUV, accommodates four to five passengers. The air module is a fully electric, piloted aircraft capable of vertical takeoff and low altitude flight powered by an electric propulsion system. In case of rotor failure, the flight control system can make millisecond level algorithm adjustments, meaning this is all AI driven, that's why I'm doing this story, ensuring the aircraft's continued safe operation. This enables the aircraft to maintain safe flight even after losing two of its six rotors, meeting the stringent safety standards required for civil aviation. To enhance flying safety, now this blew my mind, the company developed a multiple 
parachute rescue system successfully tested at just 50 meters altitude in October. That is barely off the ground and the thing deployed and, and let the car touch down safely. That's, that's incredible. The system's maximum capacity is one ton and includes pioneering features like ultra low altitude parachute opening and an embedded safety rescue control panel. It breaks industry standards by deploying parachutes at only 50 meters instead of the usual 200 plus meters, ensuring a safer touchdown at about five meters per second. So that's the story. So what does all this mean? First of all, it means that pending licensing, flying cars will be here this year, late this year, 2024. There's a second company also in regulatory approval. So that's two pending regulatory approval will be in the skies later this year. So this is coming very soon now. The second point is that people will have to get some kind of different license beyond a driver's license to fly these things, whatever that is determined to be, because, you know, AI is going to be doing a lot of the work. And finally, note that the nearest to market of these EVTOLs is Chinese. The other one is really about the same, and it's from Europe. But why did I bring that up specifically? I said during the video that Jinping and BDD are going to kick, kick the stuff out of Tesla. Why? Because they are able to make these cars and sell them for much less than a Tesla cost. Much less. In fact, there was a huge article in Reuters or something like that just a week ago saying that as it stands right now, electric vehicles will hit the market from BDD at about 30000 a pop, as opposed to a minimum of 50000 for one from Tesla with any kind of range and any kind of self-driving capability. So these are mass market vehicles, mostly for everyday folks. Now, why did I say mostly? Because the EVTOLs are going to be very expensive at first. At first, production will be limited, therefore they will be expensive, just like the first Teslas were over a hundred grand, right? But as production scaled up, that was more than cut in half. Well, that will also happen with these EVTOLs. I also had mentioned to you that a piloted version of an EVTOL, this is the European one, is supposed to get regulatory approval late this year, and it's supposed to start flying between Orlando and Tampa. They're the airport facilities separately for these EVTOLs have already been built. So these things are ready to go. It will start out deceptively slow, just like electric vehicles did. At first, you might go days without seeing an electric vehicle, and then they started getting more and more and more common. This is what exactly is going to happen with the EVTOLs. By 2030, the things will be everywhere, everywhere, and will be the hot vehicle to own. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this episode, please like and subscribe and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. Five or 10 bucks really helps out. Thanks so much. Take care. See you next time. Bye.